Good afternoon and welcome to our uh, series on divine reading. Today we have with us being my wife on the other side. <laughs> Can you say something? Hi, good afternoon everyone. Okay. Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New Year, everyone. New Year to everyone. Yes. Yesterday we talked about success is already being uh, guaranteed by the Lord as we meditate on the Word of God, Joshua 1 8. Today, in our divine reading, we are going to get through the process and we'll learn from each other how this process will go on. So let's uh, go. Review first what we have learned uh, yesterday. Okay, briefly, can we read it? Uh, Bing, can you read uh, each process and the question that is uh, asked? Yeah, the first step is read, which asks the question, what does the text say as read naturally? Or what does the text say to me? Next okay. is meditate. What does this text say to my life? Okay. Next step is pray. Uh, what can I say to the Lord? Okay. And then third is contemplate. A fourth, rather, is contemplate, which which answers the question. Uh, what changes is the Lord asking in my life? Mm -hmm. Mind and heart. And heart. And then the fifth step, which you added, is act. Act. How can I be a blessing to others? Bless to others what will you okay. do to be a blessing to others is that what you meant yes so in response we are saying that Thank response to our reading uh, we reflect that we are a channel of blessing to god to people because the lord has revealed to us his word and so that revelation would mean that there is a purpose and that purpose basically is i am already blessed so how can i be a blessing to so normally as we have said uh lecture divina is a reading of the scripture but notice the process it is recommended that we do not read a very large portion of the scripture many times we read the whole chapter but Lecture Dina, we are encouraged only to choose one paragraph or one storyline and then meditate upon it and there we can get what the Lord wanted us. So it's kind of uh, today we are hearing from the Lord, what is the Lord, what is the word of the Lord for me today? So that would be our, uh, always our response. I mean, our desire every time we read God's word, Lord, what is your word for me today? So let's go on. Let's uh, read the scripture that we are trying to meditate. Okay. Uh, today, in Word for All Nations, we follow uh, the book of Genesis, Proverbs, and uh, Matthew. So now I selected Matthew chapter 8 because this is already, uh, what, January 8. And so let's talk about these three verses in the scripture Matthew 8 1 to 3 so first our first uh, step is simply reading can you read it Matthew 8 1 to 3 1 to 3 can you read it Bing yeah where's the screen ah voila okay wow how about that? No. <laughs> ah, to get to get. So it's okay. I'll wait. Hmm. Okay. Got it. This one. Okay. You have it. 
Please okay. read it. Matthew 8, 1 to 3 in New Living Translation. And the title is Jesus Heals a Man with Leprosy. Okay. Large crowds followed Jesus as he came down the mountainside. Suddenly, a man with a leprosy approached him and knelt before him. Lord, the man said, if you are willing, you can heal me and make me clean. Jesus reached out and touched him. I am willing, he said. Be healed. And instantly, the leprosy disappeared. Wow. Okay, that's a good one. So, I hope this is already thinking in our mind. But since reading is very important, reading uh, it not just once, it will be also encouraging to read it again and again until we have it in our mind so we can meditate it. So I will read it again. This is what it says. Matthew chapter 8, verse 1 to 3 from the New Living Translation. Large crowds follow Jesus. As he came down the mountainside, suddenly a man with leprosy approached him and knelt before him. Lord, the man said, if you are willing, you can heal me and make me clean. Jesus reached out and touched him. I am willing, he said, be healed. And instantly, the leprosy, this Fear. Wow. So that's it. So based on the process, we have read it already. Now let's go to our meditation. Meditate. So let's uh, put ourselves in the shoes of the person. Let's put ourselves in the story. When we are there, let's try to feel what we see, how the leprous man was healed, and uh, what would be your feeling. So I, I would I would want to, to feel the excitement of seeing the man. I would like to say that I am one of the relative of that uh, leprous person. And then I hear the word of Jesus saying, I am willing. So the word that comes out from me is, I mean, that comes out, that caught my attention is the word, I am willing. And so that gives me excitement to hear from the Lord Jesus Christ that uh, uh, assuming he is my uncle. <laughs> so I heard my uncle say, if you are willing, Lord, and then Jesus, Jesus said, yes, I am willing. And so that is the word that really caught my attention. How about you, Bing? Oh, we have same. Okay, right. so what does it mean to you? Mm, to me, I'm saying that God is always willing to come to help me, to rescue me, to uh, provide for me. Wow. Whatever I need uh, as his child. No, he's always there. I see him as a willing father. A willing father. He loves me so much. Wow. He cares for me and whatever I need, no? Yes. According to his plan or shall I say with the assignment that he is giving me as wow. his child. He is very supportive. He, he, wow. I see his support, no? Yes. His willingness to support me all the way. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So I am also seeing that, that the Lord is willing, uh, whatever my request is, uh, the Lord is willing. So now let's go to this, the third step, that is pray. Now let us pray uh, our feeling to the Lord. Uh, mm -hmm. I would like to pray first, and then maybe you can follow so I would like to say, Father, thank you for Jesus Christ, who is my Lord. And I am so excited. I am grateful to know that you are very much willing to help me 
every time I come to you, every time I ask for anything, you are very much willing. And I thank you for that. As I look at 2021, I see that you are very much willing to walk me through from the start of the year, January 1, till the end of the year, Jan, uh, December 31, 2021. It will be that you will help me all the time. You are willing always. Thank you very much. In Jesus' name, amen. Can you pray also being with the word, with the scripture, in response to what we have learned today? Lord, I thank you for your willingness as my Father in heaven. You are always willing no? for to do things for my own good, to do things so that Amen. your plan for me yes. to prosper yes. in every area of my life will wow. come to pass. Thank you, Lord. Amen. That I will be, I am the glory of God. No? I am, I am the glory of God. I am a reflection of his love, his faithfulness. And whoever God is, I am, no? Mm -hmm. I am. Amen. In my Amen. own little way. Yes. In a place where you put me yes. to be calm, I will be calm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Thank Lord. You. Amen. Amen. So let's go to the third process. And our third process is what? We have to contemplate. Just so what that. changes is the Lord asking of my life and mind, mind and heart? So that's the fourth process. Yeah, the, the, this is the fourth process. <laughs> Sorry. So I see here that God. Are we supposed to, by the way, are we supposed to read the word again before we pray? Yeah. We may or may not, but uh, we can also read it again if we want to, because uh, oh, it is very okay. important, yes. So we can so read again. Them, they can also read Okay, again. okay, that's it. So let's read it again. Matthew 8, 1 to 3, may I read it to you? Large crowds followed Jesus as he came down the mountainside. Suddenly a man with leprosy approach him and kneel before him lord the man said if you are willing you can heal me and make me clean jesus reached out and touched him i am willing he said be healed and instantly the leprosy disappeared wow what a beautiful picture. so as i uh contemplate on this passage, it is reminding me that I have weaknesses of my own. And so God is inviting me to participate, to trust him, because he alone can strengthen my weakness. So uh, in that weakness that I have, uh, I I can find strength. I see it in the, in the in the life of this man. He has his weakness. He has a need that the Lord can feel, and so God is inviting me to give to Him uh, whatever areas in my life that are seemingly uh, I need help. Uh, God has given me assignment to do, to take care of my family as a uh, father as the head of the family, as a husband, also as a minister of the gospel. And so there are a lot of areas in my life that I need the Lord's help. So uh, go, go, going to the action part, I would like to say that uh, every day I would be mindful and ask the work, the help of the Holy Spirit and say always, uh, Lord, I acknowledge that you are my helper, you are my guide, you will help me today. So it is an encouragement for me that every day I need to acknowledge him that he is my helper, especially on the things that I am very weak. So that's for me, uh, the contemplation and the, act, the action. How about you? 
How about me? Can I have the what's the question again for contemplation? Okay, okay. Uh, I'll share it again. Here. What changes is the Lord asking of my life, mind, and heart? Would you like to read it again? Yeah, can do. Are we okay? So I think I, yeah, just put. What is God telling me, asking me to do in my life? So I think, uh, yeah, with the phrase, I, I'm willing, God is so willing to give his life for me. So in return, um, I, I am telling God also, Uh, action na rin to, uh, but I am willing. I am willing to do the assignment. Yes. Mm. Put in my heart. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So that is what how how you want to be a blessing to others. You are willing. Ah, to, is this the one? Uh, the action. So the action is the to act, be a blessing action. to others. Okay. Changes. When you say changes, so well, I want God to. God is telling me to change my mindset. Okay. My mindset of, as a child of God, I should not be afraid. Amen. Because, yeah, even in our reading this morning, no, in, in, is that, Genesis. Yeah. 20 to 22 uh yes uh do not be afraid mm. our dad is telling me not to be afraid because he is there always willing to embrace me love me mm -hmm. provide everything i will need okay so that his kingdom amen his kingdom through me will prosper okay wow thank you lord so um, it is a very uh, exciting thing that we have come to this uh, point in our meditation. We have go through the process and it is our prayer that you who are listening, participating today, you will have an idea how to uh, approach. Now notice that we are just being true to ourselves. Uh, we, we need not to be in a hurry. We need to listen to the Lord. It depends on your time. So we should not be put in a box uh, when you say, oh, I want to spend time with the Lord for 15 minutes or 10 minutes for that matter. Uh, all throughout the day, we can actually, uh, you know, ponder in our mind. And then this, the process of Lecture Divina can be with us, <laughs> right? Throughout the day. Because the scripture said, pray without ceasing. So that means, this four of the process, we can go back and forth, on and on, uh, early in the morning, down at, at night, throughout the day, we can ponder on this. So we trust that this is a help to us. So right now, we are going to close in prayer. We'll ask Bing to uh, bless our listeners today and all of us who are uh, watching. Yeah, I think we missed one. Okay. The action. Have yeah, we done it? We already contemplated incorporated that right ah in the contemplation oh, the contemplation we already incorporated that unless not, not unless we really have to separate it i contemplated that as uh, being a uh, uh for me i said that i want to be a uh there are areas in my life like a, as i am a father i'm a husband i'm a uh, you know a minister so i put my trust to the lord Entrust to him all my weaknesses and every day I acknowledge so that I would be improving and I'll be a blessing. Ah, that's so how that's I your, said it. Yes. That's what you're going to do. Yes, yes. Mm. So every day I'll I ask the Holy understand. Spirit's help. Because, 
Okay, I how about you? It was just contemplation. Yeah. It's uh, okay. Yeah, I made mention that going to the action, I said that. But anyway, it's okay. You want to have uh, other words for the action? Hmm. Well, it sounds, ano, contemplation is the same as action. Yeah, it, it's not actually very far. That is why to some, uh, Lecture Divina is just four parts. So to some, it is five parts. So it's just uh, actually a very slim uh, division. So we may not separate actually action because contemplation is already part of that. Mm. Yes, yeah. So we can have four also. Four yeah, just me. four actually. Many, mm -hmm. many proponents of Lecture Divina is just actually having the four steps. The action is already incorporated. So that's already, you know, it, it could be uh, taken part as part of contemplation. No need to separate action to contemplation. Okay. Yes. So I think I have uh, already given my yeah. contemplation and action. Yes, yes. Contemplation okay. and action, no? Yeah. Okay. Can you close us in prayer? And bless the people. Lord, we thank you. We honor you. We give you praise for who you are. Thank you for your love to us. So much love that you, yeah, in the beginning, you yeah. have already made a plan yeah. to redeem, to restore uh, us into your kingdom. And Thank so here we are right now, restored, Amen. redeemed, living a life, uh, life in accordance to your will and plan, mm. in accordance to your desire yes. that we will have a prosperous, a life, abundant life in every yes. area. No, Thank you, Lord, for that promise. And I pray that each of us, mm. your children, will see this. Will see these things. You uh, enjoy in amazement. No, you will see the things that you have planned for them. Yeah. For each one of us, yeah. plans to prosper us, to give us a hope in every area of our life thank you lord thank you i de i mm, declare and decree that we will see <laughs> it you'll open our eyes yes to see that wonderful plan you have for us yeah. as your child thank you lord you love us so much thank you thank you i cannot words cannot uh just it's not enough to say thank you, thank you to my yes. God. Thank you, Lord, to you yeah, for yes. what you have done. And thank you, Lord. That yes. Along the way, each of us will see your fully, your great, great plan for each one of us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you very much. You are blessed to and be a blessing. <laughs> Amen. Amen. See you next. Amen. Next time. Bye. Bye.